How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday, 11.45 a.m. California time here. December 15th, 2025 is the date. Uh, latest activity here shows a 6.0 earthquake coming into the uh, Russia area right now, just off the coast here of Kamchatka. This is where the 8.8 uh, .8 earthquake struck here back in July. Decent sized earthquake coming in right now. Uh, and that marks the uh, largest event so far today. Nothing showing up yet on the USGS side here of the map. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what they uh, come up with as far as the magnitude goes. It is showing up here on the Japan station, it looks like, uh, as far as that P wave goes. A little uncertain on if that's going to stick with a six-pointer. There's the uh, Russia station there showing that uh, earthquake as well. Uh, we'll double check, see if there's any type of tsunami statement with this. More than likely not with this type of magnitude. Uh, nothing from the um, tsunami warning center. Uh, again, this is coming off of the EMSC data. Six-pointer. So while we wait for the USGS to come up with their magnitude, we're going to check out California here real quick where there's still uh, quite a bit of movement stirring up here north of the Fillmore area. This has been a source of some uh, decent swarming out here in the last week or so. A couple different thrust faults that sit at the base of these mountains. This is a good indicator that pressure is increasing and uh, basically building up here across this shear zone. That's uh, the Garlock Fault shear zone. And then there's a little extension here called the Big, Fine, Big Pine Fault Zone. And, um, you know, that's the plate boundary, the San Andreas Fault. So this is all kind of pushing up there on the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault here recently. Uh, the rest of Southern California, a little quiet, just some smaller microquake activity out there. Bay Area, getting some clustering going on here again off the Pleasanton and the Calaveras Fault near the San Ramon area. Uh, stretching down all the way down here to the San Andreas Fault. One earthquake as well in the last uh, 30 minutes or so for a 1.5 yesterday decent cluster of activity outside of santa rosa where we had a four pointer nothing new to report here so far today but again the pacific plate is on the move and uh, we do need to be on guard for uh, some further activity out here in california uh, cascadia subduction zone pretty quiet for now some activity stirring up north of seattle uh, this was originally coming in as a 3.3, downgrade to a 2.9. Nothing big happening there across the rest of the country. Just a couple earthquakes there around the oil fields of Texas. Uh, let's see, on the earthquake 3D map here, do have some movement stretching uh, off the coast of Mexico here, down through the Middle America Trench, and even uh, a bunch of clustering going on there across the Peru-Chile Trench. Uh, nothing big happened down there for now, but the uh, movement definitely happening up here across the northwestern corner of this Pacific Plate. Um, some activity stirred up along the Aleutian Trench here earlier this morning, as well as off the coast there of Japan. So this is a little middle point boundary, and it's definitely getting the squeeze put on it. It does look like there was a uh, 5.3 here. Roughly in the same spot where the six-pointer is coming in right now. This was uh, just after midnight last night. Uh, and this is the area, of course, where that 8.8 .8 struck back in July. That's a decent size aftershock there. Quite a bit of uh, activity stirring up. Waiting on the USGS here. They're a little slow here on this Monday, but uh, I'm sure they'll get to it. Let's check out the rest of the globe here real quick as we... Uh, Wait for them. Uh, some movement out there around the Caspian Sea and also around the Turkey area. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. A couple smaller events there, but really nothing of any major uh, noteworthy value. New Zealand, four-pointer up here across North Island. Bunch of deep activity here into the Tonga Trench overnight and also this morning there. Uh, pretty quiet out here across this segment of the plate boundary. Just kind of watch that because he's... Deeper quakes there normally will further add stress and strain out there across that area. Typical clustering going on here across the crunch zone. Nothing big happening for now, but I'm thinking our main area of focus today definitely needs to be up here along the Crow Camp Chaka as we got that uh, decent size event coming in right now. Little late to the party there, USGS. Not for sure what's going on here. Let's check out the EMSC model. And... Uh, 
take a look, see what these guys are reporting for this earthquake. Looks like it's just right on the subduction zone interface there at uh, 42 kilometers deep. Now the uh, source parameters are being provided by the Germany folks there, the GFZ agency. Uh, still waiting on the USGS. I kind of want to wait on them to see what they come up with as far as a uh, definite magnitude goes. So we'll check out space weather here real quick while we're um, waiting on them. We do have a decent coronal hole facing us, number eight. Uh, the latest image, though, shows that it's moved off here to the western uh, area of the sun, uh, kind of off-center here from the Earth's sun plane. That, uh, you know, could still elevate earthquake activity. It's possible it is right now with that six-pointer stirring up. Just kind of watch that and see how it... Uh, See how the earthquake activity behaves. Either way, coronal hole activity shoots out high-speed solar wind stream, and we should see the results or get the uh, CME activity here in a couple days. Uh, looks like maybe around the 17th or so. We'll have to check back on that and see what the Aurora forecast calls for. No major flaring activity here right now. In fact, the flare threat down there at about 95% chance for a sea flare. M flare much lower at 25% chance and less than a 1% chance there for X flare. Currently sitting at a B 6.0. That's pretty low. Uh, taking a look here at the uh, magnetogram image of the sun does show an area back over here across the southwestern quadrant uh, of the sun here. A little bit of complexity there. That's probably where we're seeing some of that C flare activity. Aside from that, really not a whole lot going on there on the sun. Um, pretty quiet conditions there as uh, far as the sunspot activity goes and uh, I think it will get even quieter here once these remainder sunspots uh, venture off there across the western limb. Uh, aside from that, uh, let me give a quick glance here at the uh, earthquake activity. There we go, USGS downgrading that to a 5.7. All right, keep it under a six-pointer, right? Uh, either way, still a decent earthquake and the largest one so far today, 21 miles deep right there at the subduction zone interface uh, there along the Curl Camp Chatka Trench. Been quite active out here. Of course, you know, aftershock activity along the Curl Camp Chatka from the 8-pointer, 8.8, .8, uh, could last, you know, and it is lasting for months. It could last for years here. Uh, we'll continue to see uh, large aftershocks there for... Uh, for a little while. Up into the Alaska area, still seeing quite a bit of movement up there where the seven-pointer struck. Uh, quite a few twos and threes. Uh, aside from that, uh, let's see here. What else we got? Oh, weather. Yes, we have a lot of rain coming here to California coming up. Check out the um, GFS model runs here. West Coast going to get slammed with uh, quite a bit of moisture. That's going to be hitting Southern California as well a little bit. They may not get the brunt of it, but we'll, they'll at least get a little bit. Uh, looking at the total accumulated precipitation runs out here, it does show a decent amount of accumulation there of uh, rainfall coming up here through the end of December. Looking promising there to finally get uh, some rainfall out here. It's been foggy and, well, we've had this thick stratus layer over us for three weeks in a row now, and it's still like that outside, but uh, as these frontal systems come in, it will stir up the air and get rid of that inversion layer and uh, bring us some rain. It's been uh, dark and cold and foggy here for three weeks straight. Haven't seen the sun in a little while. All right, folks, have a good one. Um, yeah, this is actually technically the second update here I had to do. This five-pointer came in immediately following the ending of my previous update. So I went ahead and just did a quick recap on the earthquake activity out here. Uh, to include that 5.7 in the um, in this latest update. Have a good one. We'll see you guys out here for the uh, Monday night update. Enjoy your day. Take care.